Hey everyone, welcome back to All About AI Tech. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of vector databases. Imagine having a superpower to instantly find anything, anywhere, in the blink of an eye. That's the magic of vector databases. But which one is the best for your needs? We've got Weaviate, Pinecone, Puvector, Milvis, MongoDB, Trant, and Chroma. Stay tuned as we compare these powerful tools and find out which one is your new best friend in the world of AI. Let's start with a quick intro. Vector databases are like AI's secret weapon. They store data in a way that allows for lightning-fast searches and comparisons, perfect for applications like recommendation systems, fraud detection, and image recognition. But with so many options out there, how do you choose? Well, that's exactly what we're here to figure out. Up first, we've got Weaviate. This vector database is all about real-time semantic search. Imagine you're building a search engine for a massive online marketplace. You need something that can handle tons of data and still give you relevant results in a split second. That's where Weaviate comes in. It's like having a personal assistant that knows exactly what you're looking for, even before you do. Now let's talk about Pinecone. This vector database is a pro at finding the nearest neighbors in a vast sea of data. It's approximate, which means it's super fast and efficient, but still pretty accurate. Think of it like a treasure hunt. You're looking for that one special gem, but you don't have all day. Pinecone helps you find it without having to sift through every single grain of sand. Next up, we have Pvector. This one's a bit different because it's an open source extension for PostgreSQL. It's like your favorite old jacket, but now it's got some cool new features. You get the reliability and familiarity of PostgreSQL, with the added bonus of vector capabilities. It's perfect for those who want to stick with what they know but still get some cutting-edge AI power. Milvis is another open source contender. It's super versatile and can handle a wide range of machine learning models. It's like the Swiss army knife of vector databases. Whether you're dealing with images, text, or anything in between, Milvis has a tool for that. It's all about giving you the flexibility to tackle whatever challenge comes your way. Now, if you're looking for something a bit more familiar, MongoDB might be the way to go. It's a NoSQL database that's been around for a while, and it's known for its scalability and ease of use. It's like your go-to pair of sneakers that you can wear anywhere. And now, with its vector capabilities, it's like they've added some cool new lights to the saws. It's the same great fit, with some extra flair. Grant is all about high-performance search. It's like a race car on the information superhighway. You want to get from point A to point B as fast as possible? Grants your ride. It's got a powerful engine under the hood that can handle complex search queries and ranking algorithms with ease. It's perfect for those moments when you need to find something, and you need to find it now. Last but not least, we have Chroma. This vector database is GPU accelerated, which means it's like having a rocket booster on your data search. It's designed to handle machine learning inference at incredible speeds. Think of it as the Formula One of vector databases. It's built for speed and performance, and it's ready to take on any challenge you throw at it. So, how do you decide which vector database is right for you? It all comes down to your specific use cases and needs. Do you need real-time search? Maybe Weavate's your guy. How about handling a ton of data with ease? That's where MongoDB shines. And if you're all about speed and performance, Chrome is your champion. It's like choosing the right tool for the job. You wouldn't use a hammer to screw in a screw, right? The same goes for vector databases. Take a good look at your project and think about what it needs. That'll guide you to the perfect choice. Let's look at some real-world examples. Imagine you're building a recommendation system for a streaming service. You need something that can handle tons of user data and content metadata, and still provide relevant suggestions in real time. 
This is where Weaviate or Krant could be your heroes. They're built for speed and relevance, making sure users get the best possible experience. What if you're working on an image recognition project? You're dealing with a lot of visual data, and you need something that can find similar images quickly. That's where Milvis and Pinecone come in. They're like having a super-powered visual search engine, helping you find the perfect match in no time. And let's not forget about community support. If you're looking for a vector database with a strong open-source community behind it, Pvector and Milvis are great options. They've got active communities that can provide support, share knowledge, and help you solve any problems that come up. It's like having a team of experts on your side. Ease of use is also a big factor. If you're looking for something that's user-friendly and easy to get started with, MongoDB and Chroma offer intuitive interfaces and plenty of resources to help you get up and running. It's like having a friendly guide to show you the ropes. When it comes to performance and scalability, Krant and Chroma are your powerhouses. They're built to handle large-scale data and complex queries without breaking a sweat. It's like having a trusty workhorse that can carry any load you throw at it. Of course, cost is always a consideration. Open source options like Vector and Milvis can be a great choice if you're looking to save some money. But remember, commercial options like Weaviate and Pinecone come with their own set of benefits, like dedicated support and continuous updates. It's all about finding the right balance for your project. So there you have it, folks. We've covered the ins and outs of Weaviate, Pinecone, Pvector, Milvis, MongoDB, Trant, and Chroma. Each one has its own unique strengths and features, and the best choice for you depends on your specific needs and goals. Remember, the key is to match the right tool to the job at hand. Now, I've got a question for you all. Which vector database do you think is the most exciting, and why? Let us know in the comments below. And if you have any questions or need more help deciding, don't hesitate to reach out. We're here to help you make the best decision for your AI project. That's all for today's video on vector databases. We hope you found it informative and engaging. Remember, the world of AI is always evolving and the right tools can make all the difference in your projects. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so you never miss an update from all about AI tech.